Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel, The Eighth Wonder of the World. I'm going to talk about a company which is in the defense ship building industry which has solid orders which increases the revenue for the next few years and the stock price will provide high returns on a long term basis. Friends, if you are new here, subscribe and press the bell icon for more notifications from this channel. Comment below about your opinion of the company. The company is description. It is in the shipbuilding industry. The origin of the company dates back to 1884. Initially, the company was engaged in the business of operating shipbuilding and repair workshops as an unincorporated entity. It was incorporated as the Garden Reach Workshops Limited on February 26th under the Companies Act of 1930. It was named Garden Reach Workshops Private Limited on November 5, 1954. The organization was nationalized in 1960 and soon brought under the fold of Ministry of Defense and there was no looking back since then. Since then the share capital of the company is wholly owned by the President of India along with his nominees from time to time. In a major development in the history of the company it became a public company. After a special resolution was passed at an annual general meeting 2017 the company was listed on 11th October 2018 it was listed at rupees 102 which is 18% lesser than its issue price which was a bad debut on the stock exchange it has a market capitalization of rupees 2029 crores which makes it a small cap it is headquartered in kolkata The company is GRSE that is Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers Limited which is a Kolkata based mini ratna company which makes warships for the Indian Navy and the Coast Guard it comes under the Ministry of Defence GRSE is predominantly in the defence ship building segment and has gained enough expertise in construction of large medium and small size ships required by Indian Navy and the Indian Coast Guard in particular and in generally enjoys a excellent reputation for ships that it has built over the years grse has established well proven capabilities for in house ship design and ship building and has made significant contribution to the success of indigenous warship construction program grse has emerged as a leading shipyard of india building a wide array of vessels from the fast attack craft to the world class frigates ship building is the main business of the company the integrated ship building facility located in kolkata the images here show about the main works fitting out jetty and raja bagan dockyard engineering mm-hmm. facilities are located at 61 park unit and taratala unit in kolkata diesel engine plant The assembled test and overall marine engines in uh, 62 acres of land is located at Ranchi Jharkhand. Let's talk about the business. The shipping capability is as a specialized products. The company is engaged in the construction of vessels for many clients mainly in the defense. Majority of the products manufactured by GRSE are supplied to central and the state governments and its entities. The major part of the company's revenues derive from the sale of shipping products to the Indian Navy and the Indian Coast Guard. The company is a builders of 100 warships and they have frigant anti-submarine warfare corvette, corvette missile, landing ship tank, landing craft utility, survey vessel. In addition to these products Over the years, GRSC has supplied various boats, pontoons, barge, fishing trawler, fire float, tug, dredger, passenger ferry, motor cutter, deck whaler, launch, etc. to various other customers. Talking about the stock price details. The stock is trading at rupees 179.60. The stock has given a return of Ninety-one point zero nine percent in the last six months. It has a PE of seventeen point two nine. Price to book value of one point nine four. Fifty-two week high of rupees one ninety and a fifty-two week low of seventy-seven point seven zero. Trailing twelve month EPS of rupees ten point four two. Book value of rupees nine 
92.85, face value of rupees 10. Stock return versus Sensex. The stock has outperformed Sensex returns in all periods in which it was listed. A one week return of 17.32%, a one month return of 32.16%, three months return of 51.49%. This shows it is one of the companies which has run up in the recent months. Stock performance versus benchmark. The stock has performed much better than the benchmark of S&P BSE Small Cap and S&P BSE India Infrastructure. It has beaten the returns of these benchmark indices by a big margin. Shareholding pattern as of June 2019. The promoters have a holding of 74.5% which is held by the President of India. None of the shares are pledged. Mostly, the government companies do not pledge shares. The FIIs have 0.74%. Mutual funds have 6.56%. Non-institutional investors have 6.68%. Individual investors are holding 4.34%. Insurance holding is 10.27%, which comprises of LIC having 7.33% and GIC of 2.93%. Public shareholding above 1% for the July is shown here. So you can see that Reliance Capital Trustee, SDC Focused 30 Fund, Punjab National Bank and GIC are holding more than 1%. Ramesh Dhamani has 13 lakh shares which accounts to 1.1% of the total holdings which shows that the company is a very good find for the investors. So from this image you can know that the insurance holdings has increased in June 2019. The insurance holdings have increased by 10.27%, which is a big number, which is held by LIC and GIC. Shareholding pattern in June 2019 versus March 2019. This analysis is a basic Q on Q data that is the last two quarters. Promoters holding has remained constant. FIS holdings has increased by 0.07%. Mutual fund holdings has increased by 0.43%. Insurance holdings has increased by 10.27%. Other DIIs holdings has decreased by minus 14.22%. Holdings of the non-institutional shareholders have increased by 3.45%. Revenue. Looking at the chart, you may find that the revenue for the company has been consistent. And the last quarter, there was a big decline. But the nature of the shipbuilding business is cyclical and thus the revenue recognition and the financials do not show a particular growth trend. So when you compare over the period, the revenue has been good. The profits have been good throughout the previous quarters, which is good for the growth of the company. In the June quarter, it has been 25.28 crores and March 2019, it was 33.62 crores. Quarterly result analysis, that is June 2019 versus March 2019. Net sales, the quarter on growth in the quarter ended June 2019 is a minus of 65.67% versus 0.12% in March 2019. The standalone net profit growth in the quarter ended June 2019 is a minus 24.81% versus a minus of 24.14% in March 2019. The operating profit excluding other income in June 2019 is a minus of 125.93% versus a minus of 24.25% in March 2019. The interest growth rate in the quarter end of 2019 is a minus of 89.93% versus a minus of 41.60% in March 2019. The operating profit margin in June has fallen from, from the quarter of March 2019. Investment rational. There are many orders with the company. The three frigants medium sized war ships worth rupees 19500 crores are being built at garden reach so at this point the execution has reached a level which would provide allow the company to begin recognizing revenue in the later years so this means the revenue in the next few years could be thrice more than the last year's revenue generated by the company the company has backed the order of rupees 2,435 crore for making eight large survey vessels for the Indian Navy and the delivery of these ships will start from October 2021. The current order book of the company stood at Rs. 
27,955 crores at the end of financial year 2019. They have backed an order of Rs 6,311 crore to manufacture eight anti submarine warfare shallow watercraft. So, from all this, the revenue growth that would bring the earnings in the medium term would give the potential for the stock price to go up. The company has good fundamentals. This is none of the shares are pledged as the President of India holds around 74.25%. The other points which can be noted is that the company has improved the cost efficiency in the last year. The overheads were reduced. Employee count reduced to 2,100 in the financial year 2019. The supply chain process has improved and the outsourcing has been undertaken by the company which results in the higher revenue. You all can look at the balance sheet to know more. Decision to buy. Investors with a long-term horizon can look at this stock for investment. High dividend paying company. In the last six months, the dividend return is 5.17%. The stock has run up in the past few months and there is high resistance as Rs 190. Investors can track the stock and check with the financial advisor to add the stock on dips. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and press the bell icon for more notifications from this channel. This content is intended to be used and must be used for educational purposes only. Please do your own analysis before making any investment based on your own personal circumstances and consult your financial advisor.